pleased with the win. Pleased to play in front of the Park Stadium with a great atmosphere. Um, very pleased for the boys and very pleased uh, for the team as a whole, as a collective, to get their first win in the stadium under uh, a new coach and staff. So very happy for them. Go ahead, Colin Taylor. Yeah, Tony, first of all, congrats on the win tonight. Um, just curious, where did you see maybe the biggest piece of growth from game one to game two for you guys tonight? Um, it's a good question. Um, but to be honest, I thought the guys gave as much tonight as they gave the other night. I think, uh, you know, it was, it was a bit more of a, a football match as far as, you know, the space that we were allowed to play in but also the other team played very well, um, tried to play and uh, did a very good job. So it, was a, it, was a, it felt like it was a bit of a, a, bit of a better match. Um, but um, I was pleased with our group, their effort, the transition um, to defend was better. Um, and also the confidence with the ball, a little, a little slither of that started to come out as well, which is all small steps in the, in the overall process. So yeah, happy for them happy with their effort as a individually and as a, as a group, as a unit. Go ahead, Cade Crenshaw. Yeah, coach tonight, Lorenzo Nagy, of course, getting that goal in the 19th minute, only played one total minute in Thursday night's match against Charleston tonight, though, really got some substantial playing time. What did you see from him? And do you think he might've provided this offense a little bit of a spark during the first half? Um, yeah, look, I'm, we're trying to figure out our best team. We're trying to figure out who, who works best together, who carries out the game plan the best, who can uh, take the game model that we're putting in place and who can execute it the best out of all the boys. And that's what we're trying to do. So Nagy got a chance today. Um, he didn't get a chance much against Charleston. Um, and we're just trying to find the best mix of players that we can. And I thought he did well. Yeah, I was happy with Nagy and what he did in the first half. I thought he did very well. So another step forward for him individually and us as a team. All right, Jacob Phillips. Uh, Coach, Winthrop came out in the second half with a little bit more intensity and getting more shots up uh, on goal. How do you guys stay composed in a time like that? Well, if you know football, which I'm sure you do, you know you don't have the ball for 90 minutes, nor do you have control of the game for 90 minutes. It's at those times that you have to weather a storm and weather a team throwing players forward. And honestly, I think we came out a little flat, um, which allowed them to get on top of us a little bit, which shouldn't happen, but it does. Um, but at the end of the day, I think, you know, the, the, the team and the individuals did well to weather the storm, keep composed, didn't give anything away. And we tried to uh, get back in the game, which we did. And we played quite well. So. Back to uh, Cade, Ken uh, Cade Crenshaw, excuse me, go ahead. Hey coach, obviously a big time opponent coming up later this week in Clemson. What do you hope to see from the first two games carrying over into that interstate matchup? And also what are some of those key parts of the game that you're hoping to still see this team develop and improve on? Yeah, tough match next Friday. Um, expect obviously a really good match because they play and uh, hopefully we can match them a little bit, um, but I expect to see the guys work hard and transition. I expect to see the guys do well with their possession and be patient. Um, I know Clemson will probably come and press, uh, press us. They have a very good press, so we've got to be composed and be able to play through that. Um, but yeah, I just I just want to see the group continuing to work hard, continuing to try and play, to try and get the ball down and play and uh, progress the ball up the park and create chances. That's that was my goal at the beginning, was to make our team a great team or a good team and entertaining to watch. And uh, hopefully against them, we'll be able to continue doing that. But obviously, it's a, it'll be our toughest opponent yet. 